Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Kripe Man. And what we're going to do this time through is we're going to uh, take a look at our point force in our forces uh, uh, forces objects. Um, let's go ahead and insert a point force. And it's probably the cooler one of all of them, so that's why we're doing this one. Um, let's go ahead and get this set up. I've already done the, uh, the thing with the turn the animation off camera and uh, set it to uh, render only one only the current frame so we're pretty much set up that way but we're going to have to kind of move this stuff around all right now um, you have a particle emitter and you have a point force now uh, let's jump into our particle emitter and get it set up so we can use the point force on it um, first of all let's have it facing camera because I have a texture I want to use on it let's bring the number down to 500 and let's go through here particles life this is this is for the lifetime of the particle we're not going to do anything with that emitters on we're only going to admit we're only going to emit for uh, uh, five seconds and uh, let's see number of particles probably uh, 50 size one mass is good velocity we kind of want to pump the velocity up let me show you something oh let's go back in here and I'll show you why here in a second let's go into our uh, advanced tab and turn our air friction up just a little bit it's going to slow our particles down but it's also going to slow down their impact when they hit things so uh, uh, oh no the object's friction on collision is what when they hit things the air friction is uh, is is going to dampen them as they go. Uh, you want to use forces of the scene only in free mode, uh, and free mode is you got to make sure that this the free and scene option is checked, so your forces will have control over it. Um, we're not going to do any spawning stuff, and let's see what we got. Let's click in the middle here, and you notice there's a big mess of particles floating around there we don't want that uh, let's go to our point force and go to the effects tab and you notice that there's an insane high number here it's like 829 well you can see it 829 440 um, let's bring that down to like 5000 it's going to keep our it's going to keep our particles kind of close to the scene Oh, I only got 500. 5,000. I'm gonna say, if you have lower numbers, it's gonna, it's not gonna have that much of an effect. Higher numbers are gonna have more of an effect. There we go. And you notice the way the point force goes. Let's do a preview of, of what our particles will look like in there. One good way to do that is with your um, uh, draft. Go to rendering draft, and let's do a wireframe render. Just make sure we're in movie mode. And let's check this out. You notice that the particles come up and then they go off camera and then they float back around. We're going to put them back in frame a little bit. And then they kind of spin around until they get to the middle of the uh, till they get to the middle of the force. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. Uh, let's go ahead and get a little bit more of a bump out of this though. Let's go to the particle emitter and uh, the velocity is at 1125. Let's bump that up to probably 30. It's a nice, nice roundish number. And the uh, particles jump a little higher. Well, let's bump that up to 50. Uh, oh, let's bump it up to 30. What happened? There you go, and the particles move a little higher. Uh, might have to bump that up to 50. Bump it up to 50. There we go. And you notice if you have, the higher your number, the higher your velocity number, the higher it goes before the force takes effect. Let's, let's uh, check this out. Frame rendering. 
photorealistic and let's insert our particle while we're here. Uh, it's a texture map. Let's see what we got. You notice how the particles have come out, shot up in the air, and then started their turn into the force point, into the point force. And I've uh, pre-rendered a, I've pre-rendered this scene, and we're going to check this out. It goes up, and one thing too is uh, when you use the force mode, uh, it, the ground becomes apparent. The, it bounces like right here and uh, so just be aware that when you're tweaking your stuff just make sure that you're aware that the ground is part of your scene um, with your particles anyway anyway uh, that's how you do that uh, that's it for this time I'm Kripe Man and I'll talk to you again later bye